morning to you. I pray you're having a blessed and beautiful day. For beloved, it is another day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we will, we shall, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. So good God's morning to you again. I pray that you're having a blessed and a beautiful day. Let's get our scripture for this morning. It's coming from uh, Deuteronomy 13 verses 12 through 13. Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 through 13. And the reason says, now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good for your own good good god almighty for your for your own good for your own good well beloved again as we see here uh this morning deuteronomy um he's telling them you know he says listen these things that i i give to you are, are just for your own good you know a lot of times we don't want to be told what to do because we think we've grown and we know everything. Okay, I get it. But at the same time, if I told you not to jump over that bridge, would you still jump because you've grown? What if what God is telling us is because of it's for our own good, not what if, but it is for our own good. You know, and if anybody tries to twist that and turn that to get you to do what they want you to do, manipulation, you know, control, they are out of order and God will deal with them. But the scripture clearly says that he's asking of us that we fear the Lord, not in the tense sense of, oh, I'm scared, oh, I'm scared, oh, no, but in reverence, you know, in reverence to him, in reverence to who he is. In reverence to God, I fear, I feel the Lord, meaning that I take his word and I, I don't just play over it, but I hide it in my heart that I may not sin against him. And notice it say may not, because sometimes we're not going to do everything right. Sometimes we are going to slip and fall. Like we, were, we were skating with the kids and um, one of the kids said, uh, we was talking about, you know, don't get out there and fall. And one of the kids said, you know, well, we fall down, but we get up. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was so relevant to Christian life. We fall down, but the thing is that we got to get back up again. He tells us to walk in the ways, to love him, to serve him with all our heart and our soul. Beloved, what are you doing today? So many people are concerned and too concerned about other people, like we were saying last night in Bible study, you know, if I'm more concerned about myself, if I am concerned about me and me pleasing God, I have no business, I have no time pointing the finger at anyone else. What are, what are you doing? Hmm? Are you serving God with all your heart and your soul? 
to the best of your ability? Are you loving him unconditionally just like he loved you? Because God loves us unconditionally. He loved us first. We love him because he loved us first. Are we walking in his ways to the best of our ability? You know, one thing I like about God is that he doesn't hold what we don't know against us. We don't know. We don't know. But that which we know, we are accountable for. And so today, beloved, now that you know that he's asking of us to walk in his way, to love him, to serve the Lord, our God, with all of our heart and with all of our soul, and to observe his commands and decrees, because it's for our own good. It's for our own good. So let's get our house in order. Let's do it today. Because God has got something great in store for us. So let's get it done. Good God's morning. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, oh God, for this day. For this is the day that you've made. And God, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. God, we give you praise today. We give you all the glory and the honor for you are a wonderful God. You are victorious, God. You are awesome, God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. And God, help us today to be in fear and reverence of you. Help us today, oh God, to walk in your way, oh God, and to remember what, what, what thou have asked of us, oh God. And that is to love God, love our neighbor as ourselves to keep your commandments, to walk in your will, and God, observe those things that you have given unto us. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor today, and we thank you for all, all things, God. We ask you now to bless those who are watching now, bless those that will watch later, bless those that might have already been on this morning, oh God, and we give you glory and honor. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray, and the people of God said amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to you all. Amen. God bless you this morning. Um, you all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we will see you tomorrow on another day that the Lord will make. Amen. And so y'all go have an enjoyable Thursday in the Lord. And remember, forget not his benefits. The Lord has done so much, so forget not his benefits. Remember to keep his commandments. Remember to keep his ways. And when you fall short, just get back up, dust yourself off, and keep it moving. All right. All right. Good guys. Morning to everybody. Good morning, Lady Karen. Y'all say hello to First Lady. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Sister Shelley. And good morning to the rest of you that are watching this morning. I cannot see your name, but good guys. Morning to you all. You all have a blessed and a beautiful Thursday. And we will see you on uh, tomorrow, the same time, same place, for another good guys. Morning moment. Good guys. Morning to you. Have a good day. Good morning, Mother Cheney. Hey. <laughs>